Hi guys, it's uh, Sam for Digital Meet again, and um, in this quick tip, we're gonna look at how we can free up uh, system resources. If we're rendering in Cinema 4D, it tends to um, utilize all of your CPU and bog down your system. So if you're trying to do other stuff like browse or you're working on something else, <clears throat> it will bring your system grinding to a halt. So we can look at how we can sort of free up some of the system uh, resources. Okay, so I've got a scene here. Um, you don't need to worry about what it is. It's just a test scene that I've set up. Um, I'm not gonna save out my renders, but as you can see, it's like a 4K resolution. Um, uh, so it's pretty hefty. Um, right, let's open up my task manager because this will explain better. Okay, I've got a uh, six core i7 in my my machine and it can be multi-threaded so so basically what that means is this is my cpu here even though it's a six core um each core will be uh multi-threaded so basically each core will actually seem be seen by the system windows as two so as you can see here i've got actually got 12 uh, the system sees 12 cores Okay, so that's fine. Um, so normally what would happen if I hit render now, actually I'll bring my task manager back up so we can see what's going on and just resize it a little bit. Um, okay, I'll leave it like that. Whack it over here. Actually, I'll pin it to the side there. I didn't want it to do that. <clears throat> there we go. Um... Actually, I'll just rip it off. That'll be easier. Okay, so let's just hit render and see what happens. There is no file name specified for rendering the image. Do you want to continue? Yes, I want to continue without saving. So here we go. Here's my wonderfully large image. And we can see, uh, actually, it's probably just um, preparing the geometry of the scene. So let's just let that kick in a minute. So what you're going to see is, by default, Cinema 4D is going to utilize um, as much of the CPU as it possibly can. And like I said, that can um, sort of bring your system grind into a halt. Actually, let's say, look, Core 6, Logical Process is 12, so it's seen 12. Okay, so we're, we're the render's kicked off, and as you can see on, on the CPU here, boom! It's... um it shot right up this graph on all of the logical processors shot right up so if we look at the utilization it's a hundred percent at the moment and it says a hundred percent here so with that in mind it's using a hundred percent of my cpu now let's open a browser let's see what happens okay okay let's go to my website it's chugging away it's having a real good think about that let's open up another tab and open up YouTube. And it's having a real think about that as well. So obviously cinemas go in, this is at 100%. YouTube uh, and my website isn't currently loading. Oh, there we go. No digital meat. We might get there this side of Christmas. It's having real problems. So you can see how um, utilizing 100% of your CPU could be problematic. Um, try Vimeo. Still having a think, so it really doesn't like that. So you can, there you go. It's been running for a little while now, and it's really, really going for it. So, how can we free up some of that um, CPU power? So Cinema 4D is not eating all of it, pretty much. So I'm gonna cancel this. If you go into, um, if you go up to Edit Preferences, and then go to your renderer here. We have a depth thread priority. Now that is actually turned on at the moment. It says this option is enabled by default and lowers the priority of Cinema 4D processes set by the operating system. Also the render thread priority will be reduced even further than by the aforementioned blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that is actually on. The next one, we've got lower process priority. Um, blah, 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 blah. Oh, here we go, yeah. Okay, if this option is enabled, Cinema 4D will be given a lower priority. Okay, 
and then lower process priority, Windows only, by the way. Um, it's given, Cinema 4D is given lower priority, blah, blah, blah. But even with these two things on, you can see that it really took a hit there. So the other option we've got is this custom number of threads. So if I open up um, the CPU again, we can see that it's dropped back down. Um, where is it? 1%, 3%. So we can see our logical process as 12, okay? So what if I open up my preferences, here we go, and we've got this little thing here called uh, custom number of threads. So if I set this to 12, I should imagine that we wouldn't see a lot of difference. Um, so I'm gonna kick the, kick the render off again and it's going to prepare, so I'll probably make a cut in the video here. Okay, so our renders are kicked off, and that's with us setting um, the custom number of render threads to 12. So let's have a look at our um, CPU usage. And you, as you can see, it's 100%. So it's utilizing all 12 of these logical processors. So these are really sort of like your threads, if you like. So again, that hasn't freed up space. So if I was to do other stuff, it would bog it down again and all the rest of it. So let's cancel this. Okay. So let's drop this down to something like, let's go extreme actually. Uh, let's go six. So half pretty much. Um, yeah, we will do that. Okay, that's correct. So it's gonna prepare again. I'll do a magical video cut right here. Okay, and now we're uh, rendering again um, with only uh, six threads. So let's bring up our task manager again. And as you can see, the CPU says that it's only at 61%, whereas before when that checkbox was either off or we set it to 12, it was using 100% of the CPU. Now it's only using 61% on average, and as you can see on the graph, you know, we've got some room at the top there. So hopefully now when I open up uh, Chrome, I mean, Chrome's a bit of a memory hog anyway, to be honest. Um, let's see what happens when we try and load my website up. Still having a bit of a think, but there you go. It's opened it up. And so we managed to free up some resources there, which is exactly what we want. Um, and obviously if you want your machine to be a little bit more zippier, you can ab ab adjust that um, number. You could drop this down to four or two or whatever you, whatever you like. But <clears throat> that's just a little quick tip, guys. Free up some resources on your system. And while you render, so you can carry on rendering and you can carry on doing other work. Um, don't forget to check out the website as always. And, uh, you know, that's it. Bye.